All right, so I'm here at Canaan Motor Club. This is the third year of doing the Joker Lap SCCA Rallycross, which is about, I'd say, 70% tarmac, autocross rallycross, and then like 30% gravel. The last two years I did it in a Mark III Volkswagen Golf, did pretty well. This year I don't have that car, so uh, we're back in my, my life as a rallyist, non-turbo WRX bug eye that I built for the drive show, My Life is a Rallyist. It hasn't done a rally cross since 2015, and it's back it's 2019, so it's been four years it hasn't raced, but it's dailied me around, and it's been a pretty good car. It runs a 2.5i motor, Impreza motor, from a non-turbo wagon, and this is a 2002 WRX shell, so it looks like a WRX, but it's anything but. Right now we got a real loud exhaust on it, there's a dog behind me. I don't want to go crazy. It's a little bit of a new layout this year. Longer layout. We haven't got as many runs, but we get to run a lot longer per lap, which is great. This year, the gravel portion, quote unquote gravel portion, is pretty much just straight mud. So it's taken a little bit of time to get used to. I don't know if tires make a difference really. It seems like everybody is just sliding like crazy. Jesus. How's the mud, real bad? Dude, I, I can't even turn. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yep. I've resulted to doing the just kind of clutch in, e-brake, get the car rotated, get the car pointed, and then add the power left foot braking, it just locks up all the brakes. It just kind of hockey puck slides everywhere. I got these tires yesterday on Facebook for 50 bucks. They're somewhat used eye pikes. They have something to them. I thought they would have more bite than this, but maybe everybody's having the same issue. The craziest thing about this car right now is that it's the, the steering. I mean, this is the stock Impreza rack from a 2006 wagon. I'm assuming an STI rack is probably a little bit quicker. Uh, this thing is so slow so incredibly slow like i have to move my arms like so much to even get it to turn in like volkswagen golf or other cars that i'm used to driving more now so much quicker you could be direct you could be like a 90 here 90 there you don't have, even without a steering quickener you could just be really simple try not to move the wheel as much but with this you just have to throw it a little bit more but i can like feel it in my wrists just from like trying to keep it straight god this subaru rack is so slow things to work on I haven't driven this car on a rally cross in a long time. This year I hope to take it out on the ice a bunch and then that'll be great because I'll get back to feeling it out and learning uh, what this car wants as far as inputs. But we'll take a couple more runs and maybe I'll put one together that's a little more exciting and then we'll post that one because that's how video works. Woo! So here we go, I'm gonna try to talk you through a lap. First gear, grab second. E brake through there, up to the gears. Second gear, dab a left foot, stay on the course, stay on the track. Try to keep it a little bit tidier. The steering rack in the Subaru is just so less direct than a Volkswagen. So you just gotta keep it calm through here. Go. Try not to cross the hands up too much. Give him a flick for the fans. There it is. Slow 
foot down in the mud. One way to slow the car down is just to turn. Go sideways. Little left foot for grip. There we go. In the last run there, I was actually just kind of like throwing it sideways, throwing it into the deep stuff at an angle. That way it would just slow me down really quick. All that dirt would collect in the tires. It just slow me down almost like a skier in some rough snow, heavy snow, and then get the power again, get the grip. I, that, that was my best run of the day by far. I was trying to be a little bit more sideways and smiling, but now I've kind of cleaned it up, taking it a little bit easier on the car and just getting through the course. The tarmac gets like really greasy with all the mud, so it's super slick and you're just kind of sliding into corners. And even in the all wheel drive, you could get super sideways and have a great time. Absolutely love it here. Community is awesome. It's a fun track, fun event. Now that you're in Canaan, in the books. Till next time, thanks for watching everybody. Try to get more stuff out when we can. As always, I keep saying it and sometimes it happens. See you later.